Hi everyone. Did you know that you can display your company logo on the form in your Zoho Creator app? In this video, we'll guide you through some simple steps to achieve this requirement. Let's consider the example of an order management application to demonstrate this use case. The screen you see now is the order form in the Zilka Home Appliances application where customers can place their orders. By default, the form doesn't come with any logo in it. However, it would be nice to have your business logo for brand identity and recognition. It acts as a visual representation of the company's products and services and helps create a strong first impression on customers. Therefore, to make our form more visually appealing, let's create a workflow to display the company's logo in the order form. There are two ways to display the logo in the form. One, using the logo's URL and two, from an existing image in the app. Now, let's see how to display your company logo using an image URL within your form. The logic is to fetch the logo from the URL and auto-populate it immediately when the form loads. To display the logo, let's add a notes field to the order form. Go to the editor, access the form builder and add the add notes field from the special field section. The add notes field can be used to display plain text, rich text or images in a form. We are including this to display the company logo. Next, create a workflow to display the logo during every form load. To do that, access the editor and create a workflow to run on a form event. Choose the form on which you want to run the workflow. In this case, it's the order form. Choose the workflow to run when a record is created or edited. The workflow should be triggered on load of the form. We selected this option because we want to display the logo when the form loads. Give a name and proceed to create the workflow. Click on Add New Action. The Dilute Script Builder will open. Let's define the script here. The logic is to fetch the image using its URL and populate it into the Add Notes field. You can copy the image URL from your website by clicking on Inspect Element on the image and copying it. Or, if you have your logo in Google, you can also use that link. Now, let's proceed to define the script. Declare a variable, image URL equals, quote, paste the copied URL, unquote, semicolon. Here, we have pasted the URL we copied from the website and assigned it to the variable image URL. Next, we need to populate this variable within the add notes field. To do that, type input dot, choose the add notes field, claim equals, less than img src, equals backslash plus image url plus backslash style equals backslash width colon 150px semicolon height colon 100px semicolon backslash greater than less than forward slash img greater than semicolon here we populate the logo within the Add Notes field by specifying its path and the dimensions in which the logo should be displayed. Save the script. Let's see how this workflow works on our form. When you open the form, the company's logo gets auto-populated in the Notes field with the specified dimensions. Next, let's look at how you can display your company logo in the form from an existing image in the app. We need to follow the same steps we performed earlier for creating a workflow and adding the Add Notes field. We do the same because the difference between the previous and current method is only in terms of the Dilute script. Here, the logic is to fetch the ID of the image from its report and populate it into the Add Notes field when the form loads. This is the All Images report where our logo image is stored. Let's quickly fetch the ID of this image. Right-click on the image and click on Inspect Element and copy the ID from the image's URL. Now, let's proceed to define the script. Use the Fetch Record task and declare a variable logo equals Choose the images form, type id equals, paste the copied id dot image. 
we have now fetched the image data based on its ID from the All Images report and stored in the variable Logo. Next, we have to populate the Add Notes field with the image stored in the Logo variable. But before doing that, we have one more thing left. That is to replace the masked parameters with valid application specific parameters in the image URL. To do this, let's use the replace all function. Type logo equals logo dot replace all forward slash shared by forward slash app link name forward slash comma zoho dot app URI semicolon. Here, we replace shared by an app link name with zoho dot app URI. It is a Zoho variable that stores the value of the admin username and the app link name. Therefore, we replace the masked parameters with the Zoho variable. Let's continue writing the code to replace the remaining three parameters. Type logo equals logo dot replace all view link name comma all images semicolon. Here, we replace the variable view link name with the report that contains the image data, which in our case is the all images report. Next, type logo equals logo dot replace all field name comma image semicolon. Here, we replace the variable field name for the field that holds the image, which in our case is the image field. Next, we need to specify the size in which the image should be displayed. Type logo equals logo dot replace all less than img comma less than img height equals 100px width equals 100px semicolon. Here, we replace the img variable with the height and width that we want our image to be displayed on. Now, we have finished setting up the logo image and we have stored it in the variable logo. Next, let's proceed to populate this logo image into the add notes field. Type input.plane equals logo. Here, input.plane is the add notes field and we have populated it with the variable logo. If we do not replace these masked parameters with valid application specific parameters, the notes field will display broken image icon instead of actual image. Let's see how this code works in real time. As we see, when we open the form, the company logo gets auto-populated in the notes field based on the ID of the image we specified from the all images report. We hope this video gave you an idea on how to display your company logo in a form from two different sources in your Zoho Creator account. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.